I ran an AI that generated a short story stemming from a handful of prompt words. And these were a few I handpicked due to their interesting nature. <laughs> Joe lives on a farm in Wisconsin, and I have been to his farm. His farm is small, but the food is excellent. It was so nice to have him come up to our office to meet and greet us. For more information about her books and articles, visit her author's site at www.justnamachines.com. Eric Allen's website is www.ericallen. loves to talk about stuff. He tells interesting stories about himself, his family, and various sporting events. He loves to ride around in his motorcycle for hours on end just to demonstrate that there are horses that have a bit more flair than him. He has been working as a teacher at Wheaton North High School in Illinois for many years, where he has provided an excellent grounding in both reading and learning. He is very passionate about one-to-one -one tutoring for students, especially adults. He also has a great match for tutors who want to provide a hands-on experience as he knows his way around a classroom. George owns a bakery where he makes bread. The project started with plans to use cardboard to make the shells, and as the project grew he moved to using moulded plastic, which has lasted longer. The project began as a simpler project, he says. I thought I'd do a slightly stronger and prettier shell than what's made today. A jolt of inspiration struck. Why not mould a few rocks and use the same process to make something other than a stone? The pieces are made from plaster that has been cleaned and kept in a commercial freezer. The cement mixture is water, sand and calcium chloride, followed by time. It's a process that takes from three to six months, he said. Eventually. Dean sucks. 